The first thing I did was cut a board that was 51 and a half inches long and 22 and 13 16 inches high. And then on the other end of it, I marked it so that it was 15 and 5 16 inches high and then cut it so there was angled. And I cut two of them. The next thing I did was cut another board that was 51 and a half inches long. But this time it was by 22 inches. I cut two of these boards. The second board, it, was, it would end up being more like 51 or 50 and a half because it was going to be the bottom part of the pinball game and it was going to be angled. So it just needs to be a little bit smaller. The third step was to cut legs. We would need to use 2 by 4s and cut them to 25 and a quarter inches long. We would need 8 of them. The next step is to cut leg holders. They would need to be 5 inches by 3 and a half inches. We would need eight of them. They will attach to the sides of the machine. Here's just a, some pictures of the dimensions of the leg holders. Um, they don't need to be exact. Really, you just need to trace the the outline of the two by four because sometimes they might be different, you know, warped or whatever. They just need to be the size of your legs. Here's another picture. Um, this one, since it's not the size of the thickness of the two by four. Yeah, uh, it does need to be five inches high. You know, if they're not exact, the legs will look funny, or the leg holders will look funny because they won't be the same size. Uh, this is just pre-drill. Um, there's the sides of the the board, and then the top of the board, and you especially need to pre-drill the sides because it will split like crazy. I had to do this about fifty times. This is just showing what I did. I I screwed them into the holes first. Uh, before I put screwed them to the actual board, just because it made my life a lot easier. Uh, this is a picture of the the leg holders screwed onto the legs. Um, it's hard to see from here, but there is about a two and a half inch overhang on the leg holders, so they can attach to the sides. And also, I uh, didn't take a picture of me screwing the legs together, but you need to s screw the two 2x4s two together uh, to make a 4x4, four four, unless you already have a 4x4. Four four. This is a better picture of the overhang on the leg holders. Um, the bottom will go right on top of those 2x4s and then the sides will go right on top of that. And then you just screw them together and it makes it a lot easier and a lot more sturdy. This is the bottom that we have cut out previously, uh, one of the first steps. Uh, I just set it on top of the legs and the holders. Um, and then I just screwed them down. It was pretty easy. This is just a better view of the bottom. It's a screw down and ready for the sides to be put on top. I forgot to take pictures of the front and back, but the dimensions of them of the dimensions of the back is 22 by 22 and 13 sixteenths, and then the front is 22 by 15 and 5 sixteenths inches. Then this is a picture of the sides and the front and the back screwed on top of the uh, on top of the bottom and then screwed together with the leg holders. This is the beginnings of the game. There there are paddles and then underneath it you can't see it, but there's a mechanism under there that makes the paddles move. This is just a better view of the same thing. There's the the paddles and then there's the mechanism underneath that you obviously can't see. Then there's the rail that if you miss, the ball gets caught on. Up next is a couple of updates that I made on, on the job while I was making it. So just sit back and let me do the talking. Hey, um, I just finished making the this, this right here, which is the, see, we're going to have a board right here, which pushes this bad angle right here pushes this like that and then as you can see on this side I'm doing the same doing the same thing I'm just moving the board and it's moving the paddle so what I need to do next is just make a rubber band so it pushes back on its own so I don't have to push it and then and then it'll be pretty close to being functional hey here's a little update here um, as you can see I already have this the rail so when the ball is coming and say you miss it then it catches it and then it restarts then you can pull the spring back and it goes 
I haven't had that yet, but there's the paddles. Um, I just laser, I use the laser upstairs to make um, the paddle, and then I just cut, traced it, and cut some out on the bandsaw. And then, the best part that I've got done so far is this right here. It may look a little weird right now, but let me just hold it. If you, there's gonna be a board, and it's gonna come in, push it right there, and then when you let go, it goes back, see? So those are the buttons that, kinda hard to show, but right here, when I, I'm pushing it down, and it goes back which I think is pretty cool. But what I'm going to do next is um, either find out a better way to see the, it's hard to see, but there's like a wooden dowel right there. There's a wooden dowel in there, and it's a little off. It's not exactly straight. So I'm either going to have to laser new um, plastic, cut out new board, and try again, or get some better um, bolts or so it can pivot on it. But other than that, it's going pretty good. And until next time. This is just a picture of the, the game. It's more complex now. As you can see, it has the, the round thing for the ball to roll off of. And then the, the triangle things. I mean, I just can't think of the name for them right now. But every pinball game has them. And then there's also the path for the launcher to go on, which I haven't quite made just yet in this picture. Than the rail, which I showed you in a previous video, um, it's it was coming quite along right there. I thought I was getting pretty close to being done. This is just a video, a uh, picture of the launcher. Um, what you do is you pull back the dowel, and if the ball, if you just lost, the ball will reset. It will roll onto the launcher, and then you just let go, and then it shoots. Then you're playing again. Um, yeah, but. That's also that's also how you start the game, and it's also how you continue the game after you lose it. So it's very reliable, and I really like it. This is another picture of the launcher. Uh, not much different than the first one. It's just different angle, better view. No, there's nothing different about it from the first one. In between here and the next videos that I'm gonna bring up in a second. Uh, I didn't really take many pictures, but I didn't do much other than perfect it, which this was the point of the project where it looks like I'm doing nothing, but I'm doing oh, I'm doing a lot, like just tinkering around with it. This was the most important part of the, the project is just the tinkering. So, so much tinkering. Up next are a couple of videos that I made just tonight of me finishing up project so I'll just let you sit back and find out what happens. Well it's been a while since I last made a video but uh, I've been working for like uh, three hours now after school and it's finally just about done. Ta-da! I painted it uh, blue and orange. It's called the Road Runner right there. Uh, well, the funny thing is I paint, I know what colors I wanted to paint it, but I didn't know what I would call it. So I painted it blue all over, then orange with the legs. And then I said, hey, isn't the Road Runner blue with orange feet? So. Yeah, I just called him the Roadrunner because I really didn't want him to be nameless. Him. I keep saying him. It. But here's the inside. The What I've done since my last video, uh, I fixed this because Mr. Nelson gave me a good idea. Before, it would, the default position was here, where like it's supposed to be. And you had to pull it back. You'd have to pull it back to be able to shoot it. And he could never get it really that far. But now, uh, this way, the rubber band, the rubber band shoots it. The paint's drying right now, so I can't really shoot a ball. But yeah, the rubber band shoots it. It shoots it a lot better. And before, it was the end, 
this part right here was like up here or something, or, which is crazy. Or no, yeah, it was probably right up here, which is crazy steep. I, I mean, it, it didn't look that steep then, but now, now it looks pretty steep. So I lowered it uh, twice. I lowered it actually, and now it's a lot shorter and a lot, a lot more smooth to shoot. Uh, come back and it's a lot easier to hit it farther um, these I don't know if I showed these or not but these are the bumpers they are just a thick wood wooden dowel and some uh, rubber hose washers I painted them so yeah there's a good look at that um, these I've probably showed these before but they're just the I don't know what they call them but the triangle things that you put on there uh, I had this circle, well, I found a scrap circle in the scrap pile, which is kind of lucky of me. And then I cut out, cut out right there. Then I screwed it on here. I centered it and stuff, so I screwed it on there. And then I put that and that on there so it doesn't, when you shoot it, it doesn't go up here. Uh, the paddles, I accidentally messed this one up, so I had to make a new one. And then, last but not least, the point of the game. <laughs> okay, you take a you take a little ball bearing right here. This is still wet. I don't want to put it in there, but they're going to be sitting right there on the edge of the rubber band. And when you hit it with the ball, it's going to get stuck onto the, onto the magnet that's in there. And then, once you get all six of them, you win the game. Uh, that's the point of the game. That's how you win, really. Because I didn't want it to just be hitting a ball around. That'd just be lame. Right here. That Now that it's a lot steeper, it's harder for this to go down. But I get, I'll fix that, or I'll leave it. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's about it. I, I painted it, so it looks nice. Let's get another look at it. The Roadrunner. Orange feet, all four of them. Uh, nothing much, just road runner on this side, road runner on this side. I really just called it that because I didn't want it to be nameless. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Oh, here's the launcher. I, I would launch it right now, but I'm just gonna launch it when it's dry. Launch an actual ball when this is all dry. But yeah, the launcher works really nice, and uh, that's about it. See you next time.